Hello and welcome to Freddy as well, where we are on the FTB server and things have changed a little bit over here. We were making tanks, we now have tanks with stuff in. We have lots and lots of resonant ender. Look at all that lovely, lovely, lovely resonant ender. And lava, we have lava, which comes in a pipe from over there, which goes down a pump into the lava pool we found. I, I got it first time, so bingo, bango, bongo, jobs are good. Looks like a good lava pool too. Uh, but we ne now need to change this engine, because this engine, not good enough. Oh, I need to put my diamond pickaxe away as well. I don't want to lose Mr. Diamond Pickaxe. So we'll, we'll get rid of this fella. Will we do it now? There's still one coal coke left in there. We're not going to change anything anytime soon, are we? So we will. We will get rid of it. There we go. It's gone. And that's all she wrote. So we'll just get rid of that, and then we can have our new engine there being attached by Fluiducts, new name, same thing, to, to there with our Invar engine. Let's get an engine. Uh, engine. E-N-G-I-N-E. -E. And I believe it is the... Ba -ba 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 -bom. Billcraft engine, Billcraft, forestry, forestry, forestry. Where is... I couldn't get any engines yesterday, so this is this is this is a step forward. Um, they're, they're not engines, are they? The dynamos, D Y N dynamo. We want the magmatic dynamo. Oh, look at all this! So we need silver and redstone to make that thing, and then we need an ass ton of invar to make everything else. Okay, that's fine. We have got a chest that we've just turned around because we're an idiot. We have got some invar there. Uh, we haven't got any inventory space, of course, because we never do. Um, might be, might be time to upgrade. What, what is this? I don't know. Uh, might be time to upgrade some of these chests, but I haven't got space to upgrade the chests, which is a bit of a blow. Let's just bin some stuff. Let's bin. Let's go to the edge of the world and just bin that. Bin that. Bin that. Bin that. Bin that. Uh, bin the flint and bin the flame string. Bin the bones. That's given us a bit more room. We might be able to make our engine now. It's good. So we need that. We need the silver. We got plenty of silver. Silver there. Good. Good silver. Uh, redstone. I think we've got redstone on us. We have. There we go. So we can make this thing. And then we need the Invar gears, which I think are, yep, iron. I thought it might be. I think there were three of them, weren't there? Uh, well, we'll take three anyway. Yep, take three. Uh, let us just con quickly confirm. We'd, we'd, we'd quick com confirm me. Yeah, there's only two. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I, I will only make the two. I'm not proud. I'm really not. Trust me. There we go. So that's them. So we want Invar, 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 Thingy-Majiggy, Thingy-Thingy, and Redstone, I think. Yeah, there we go. And we've got our Magmatic Dynamo. Um, and that's going to go thar. Perfect. And then we can just power that up with Fluiducts, which are in one of the chests. Um, which chest? This one. We've only got nine fluid ducts left. Oh, that sucks. Um, we're going to need more fluid ducts. We're also going to need to be a little bit bat. We might get some more fluid ducts before we do this. Um, which are copper and lead, I believe. Copper. We're kind of running a bit low on the copper. Lead. We're doing okay on lead. But uh, not 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 so good on on other stuff. Uh, lead. There we go. Twenty one fluid ducts. I think will be enough to do to do the stuff here. Uh, and then we're changing to a bat, like so, as if by mystic magic, poon, like up and down, and we will go douche. No. 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 Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. That's fine. Up. And along. I do not want you 
to hook up to there. I don't want that. There, that's gone. Because that, that's badness. If it's hooked up to that, that's that's diametrically opposite to what I want. So it's above here. So if we just nobble that out, and then pop that there, and then set that to be an output like so, we might need to adjust the, the thingy as well. And nothing coming through. I thought so. Might be the case. And we can just... Give that a little love tap. There you go. That should now not start filling up. Why are you not filling up? Ross was slain by an angry zombie. That's got to be got to be depressing. Well, it's definitely an output. And let's change that to be that. Will that do it? That looks like it's doing something. That's fine. That looks like it's doing something. Yeah, that's filled up the magmatic dynamo. Cool. And we will have the lever that we had. We did have a lever. There it is. Next to this job on the bob here. So we can turn it off if we want to. Turn it on if we want to. It's got lava in. I don't think it's got any demand. But that's fine. So that's cool. We got we got a new power source, and it's it's a more robust power source. It can do 80 RF per tick output, and this 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 requires 40, and this requires 400. It's charging up. Oh, it must be doing something. This thing then. Yeah, it must be doing something. Uh, Got to just keep an eye on the lava tank. It might start depleting rather rapidly. Uh, we might change from being a bat now again. I do not like the angle of the bat. The view is not good. So now, now we need to get that power somewhere useful. And somewhere useful, by definition, is is not here. Uh, let's make let's upgrade some of these chests to iron chests before we have a life crisis. We don't want a life crisis. So we want wood in the middle and iron round the outside like so that's not gone well that's gone badly that's 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 my 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 whole drag and drop thing broke down a little bit one two three four four will do i think four's a good number don't want to go overboard at all so we will upgrade you you no Where's please inventory tweaks Tweak my inventory for me. I'm tedi tedi tedious tied or dust of having to move things around manually when I shouldn't have to do it. And that has one of these got a machine in. None of these have got a machine in. Where's my machines? No machines. Fair enough. You can have the machine then. Excellent. That's gone well. We now have buttloads of power coming out of this thing. Uh, this is fully charged and this is probably fully charged as well oh, no, it's still charging up so that's a better power source we've got there we may add additional ones of these types of engine along here to power alternates uh, we've still got a water thing coming up which is useful we may need water like we've got these tanks here we've got the resonant ender we've got the lava we're probably going to end up with redstone and water as well because they're they're key ingredients of the whole thing so we need a new machine um oh let's what's it's the liquid transposer isn't it liquid transpose a mammographication thingy uh, iron tank liquid loader liquid unloader Ooh. well how the hell do you make that then Let's go for Tesseract. Uh, in the fluid transposer. No, the, not the liquid transposer anymore. The fluid transposer. Everything's changing from liquid to fluid. Well, that's fine, I guess. Uh, hardened glass and enderium ingots. Enderium nuggets. Enderium ingots. What the hell do you make? How on earth... 
Enderium blend and pyro pyrethium in the induction smelter. Okay, there's 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 things here I am unfamiliar with. Enderium blend is pulverized shiny metal, liquid. Uh, well, this is this is all okay. We can do all this, but what was that other one? This thing, pyrethium, sulfur, coal dust, redstone. Oh, we should be able to. We should be able to pull all that out. I mean, it it means we need stuff uh, that we haven't actually got a lot of. I mean, we've got a resonant ender. That's that's that that's a step forward. But it's going to make these tesseracts powerful, hard to. Uh, what sort of tesseracts can you have? Tesseract, tesseract frame. What does a tesseract do now? I'm guessing it still does the same job. There don't seem to be item tesseracts and and liquid tesseracts. Well, probably fluid tesseracts. Seeing as how fluid seems to be the the the. Semi-fluid generator. Ooh. Don't know what that does. I'm fascinated, though. Right, so we need glass, copper, redstone reception coil, and a bucket. Okay, we can do... I think we've got all of that. We need two copper. We'll need one gold. Probably two gold. Uh, four iron. One, two, three, four. Uh, another bucket. Three more. And glass, I said, didn't I? So we're going to need one, two, three, four, one, two. I've forgotten what I'm making. Screw it. Let's do four and four. Okay. So we want this thing first. We want that redstone reception coil. Then we want the frame, which I believe is this job of my bob. There's, there's, there, there is all this shift clicking. Don't, don't, don't think I don't know about the shift clicking. I do know about the shifting and the clicking. And this makes us our fluid transposer. Uh, if I put my bucket up there, yeah, there we go. Fluid transposer. Put my, make another bucket because I just threw mine away into the fluid transposer. Uh, this this all needs to be sorted out a bit here now, um, but we're going to pop him down there for now, and we are going to configure it for nothing, 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 nothing. We will do everything manually in the fluid transposer for now, at least. Um, that's my my thinking on the whole subject. That's built up a bit of charge. Let's just turn that off for the time being. We don't want it to burn through all of our lava, which hasn't gone down at all, so that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. And what else did we want? We said we wanted the induction furnace, didn't it? So let's let's work on the assumption that we can make us an induction furnace. One, two, three, four, and we'll need glass. So we need a machine frame first, which is easily enough done. Douche, 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 douche. So it's fascinating that did I just hear a wisp? Yeah, I did. Where is he? There he is. Oh, it's Greeny. Hello, Greeny. You all right, mate? You all right? You doing okay? Cool. I probably should analyze his his doings so that we can we can sample the the elements that make him up. I don't know where he's gone now. He buggered off. I like Greeny. Greeny's cool. Talking of hungry, am I hungry? No, I'm not. Okay, that's good. Uh, so we want the induction. The induction grinder? No. Induction smelter. This job on my bob. So we need one of these. Two invar, two copper, and a bucket. Okay. So that is gold. We've got the redstone. Invar, two invar, two copper, and a bucket. Lots of buckets involved in this game. This game is bucketerific. So we got a bucket. And we will make our job on my bob here. And then we can just click on that, that, and that. And there we've got an induction smelter. Excellent work. And then we pop him down where that torch is, actually. There. And we will change all outputs to be nout. 
Until we've got our applied energistic system up and running, there is no point doing anything other than manual feeding on this thing. Then you can you can go all fully automatic and everything will be fan diddly tastic. Let's just quickly do an F7 check. It's going dark. I can't actually see my keyboard. Yep, that's fine. Everything there is good. I, I came up here before and uh, hid, and uh, so I could I could AFK for a little bit, and. Would you Adam and Eve it, uh, an angry zombie got me here. He must have come all the way up the stairs, all the way around here, and just, just beat me to death and I drowned in the water. I was not impressed. Um, in, in many, many ways, I was, I was unimpressed. Is this charging up now? Yes, it is. Okay, so we need that... What was that stuff called? Let's have a look at the Tesseract. T-E-S-S. -S, tesseract frame. It's this stuff. Enderium ingots. Oh, and hardened glass as well, which is obsidian dust and lead ingots. Which is no biggie. We can do that easy enough. It's this stuff. Enderium blend. Pulverized shiny metal. How much pulverized shiny metal have we got? Two. Hot oh, damn. We're going to need a lot more pulverized shiny metal. Um... What does pulverized shiny metal come from? What does it what does it come from? No, too far. I I, I punched down too far there. Uh shiny metal ingot ferrous ore. Pulverizing ferrous ore gives you a ten percent chance of shiny metal. Here. I thought I'd put some shit ferrous ore in there. Evidently that's all we get. And I've got no pulverized, no no shiny metal ingots. Shiny metal backside. Is there any other way to make them? I don't think there is. I think that's 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 where we're going to have a technical issue here. Uh, where is it? There it is. Is there no other option there? No, it is purely pulverized shiny metal. Oh man, I thought I was going to be making. Making these till I was blue in the face, but evidently not. That could that could uh, cramp our style a little bit, but there is the other thing we need to make this this stuff. So we need blaze powder, um, sulfur dust, coal dust. I have I've been avoiding the sulfur. Um, I've been diligently avoiding getting sulfur. I may have some downstairs. We'll go and have a quick look. We'll go and have a quick butcher's down here. There's a creeper having a bit of a dip. There may be some sulfur. Not sulfur. Stuff down here. What have we got? Oh, we've got 21 sulfur. That's fine. Uh, any shiny metal ingots? No, not not so much of the shiny metal ingots there. What have we got in here? Uranium. We got uranium. I was wondering if I'd got any uranium before. I was having a think about stuff and nonsense. Wondering if I had actually got any uranium, but I haven't got a lot. Um, so we haven't got a lot of shiny metal, which is going to slow us down considerably. Uh, I guess I need to get that quarry up to full speed, which is kind of what I wanted the tesseracts for. Uh, let me see. How much do you get? I need four of these. And from two of them, you get two of them. So... That gives me four... So I'm going to need at least two, which is what I've got. Well, I might, might be able to do it. We might be able to make two Tesseracts. We could be able to make two Tesseracts. We'll see what we can do. So we need Pulverized Tin Dust and Resonant Ender. Uh, and I think that was Shapeless Crafting, wasn't it? I'll just put this chest back again. We'll take these two. And is there any tin in there that's been pulverized? Yes, there is. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. And a bucket of this Gupta. Here we go. Bucket of Resonant Ender. And then we can pop 
That in there. That there. One, two, one, two, one, two. And that gives us four of them. Uh, we need another bucket of resin and tender. All right, fair enough. That's not a problem. I'm fully prepared to get you a bucket of resin and tender game. There you go. And then what we do with them is we add them to the induction smelter with pyruthium dust, which is pulverized coal, sulfur, redstone, and blaze powder dust. Pulverized coal. Uh, I think I need one, two, three, four of them. And throw the rest on the floor, apparently. And we should get two... Two? What's going on? Three? Four? Really? Really? I had to ask twice? Game? Game? You sure? Oh, we got some sulfur out of that. Cool. Cool. Byproducts. Gotta love your byproducts. So, then we need the blaze powder. So we have the coal dust. Two, three, four blaze powder, sulfur, one, two, three, four of them, and one, two, three, four of them, and that gives us loads of pyrethium. Then, in the induction smelter, which is this job of my bob here, we have the pyrethium dust and them, and this will give us, I'm hoping, eight bars of enderium. While that's doing that, let's pulverize some obsidian, which I think is in one of these two chests. There we go. Pulverize eight obsidian. There you go, you have that. You chew away on that. Oh, look at this, this is going well. We have now got enderium ingots. We are so lucky. We are so lucky. We've managed to pull that one out of out of our ass. Uh, that can go back in there. That can go back in there. That can go back in there. That might as well go back in there. Uh, I think we've probably done with the pulverizing of the obsidian. Yes, we have. We've got lead in there. They go together like a horse and carriage in there. And that will make us hardened glass, which I believe is what we need to make what we need to make isn't it? Um, let me just check on that. Tesseract frame. We need a diamond. We're going to need two diamonds, which are downstairs in, in the doings down here. We have diamond. We do. We do have diamond. And this will hopefully allow us to transfer our power to the quarry and give the power, the, the quarry, more meaningful oomph. I'm not sure what the, the, the conversion ratio is on Billcraft power, but if it's if it's too slack, we can always um, add more geothermal engines. We seem to be holding up okay with our lava. I'm quite pleased about that. And our resin and tenders holding up reasonably well as well. Alright, have you done the hardened glass? There's four hardened glass there. I need more hardened glass. Does that mean I need more obsidian? I do honestly think that means I need more obsidian. Oh, there's 12 in there. That's cool. I don't know what happened there, but... Yes, I do. I do need more obsidian. Might actually need more than that. Uh, one, two, three, four. More. They can go in the job of my bob here. Just in case, just in in case there's issues that that are arising, notwithstanding stuff and other things, and we'll have the enderium ingots there, and the hardened glass there, and we get a tesseract frame. Cool. And that needs to be filled with liquid resonant ender jobber goo, jobber goo. Oh, there we go. We got enough. We didn't need the the extra. It's fine. It can go back in there, and it can wait. So let us make a second tesseract, diamond, enderium ingots, and hardened glass. There we go, second frame, and then we need to 
put those two frames in there, and then we need some resonant ender. I'd like you to take the resonant ender, please. Do I have to pipe it in? It looks like I'm going to have to pipe this in. I can't just dump it in here. I was kind of hoping I could just dump it in here. But it uh, doesn't seem like that's a viable option. Hmm. Maybe if I just build a small tank. Let's have a little look, see. Can we make a tank? T-A-N-K. Definitely going dark now. Cannot see my keyboard for at all. Glass and copper. Okay, we can do that. Uh, copper and glass. I do like that the recipes for these have got easier. That makes me a little bit happier. But I'm not entirely sure about the resonant ender enderium ingots thing. That's that's not so so helpful. Uh, so we'll pop this tank on top of this box. We'll have that out back in a second. Okie dokie, so now we need to set the input on that as that. And hopefully we can just bucket that stuff in there. And that's doing something. Um, is that enough resonant ender to make two <laughs> item well, tesseracts, I don't know whether what I don't know what sort of uh I don't know how you attune the tesseracts. Maybe maybe there's some sort of arcane dance I need to do. So one bucket does one tesseract. That's fine. That is absolutely diddly fantastic. Tesseract frame full. Cool. This is going very well. Come on. I like the, the effect on the front, all swirly. looks like a washing machine. The fluid transposer looks like a washing machine. Should we take them? We might as well take them. We've worked hard to make them. We might as well take them. And then the final stage of the Tesseract is Tesseract frame. That's what we've got. Tesseract. So it's just silver ingots surrounding the Tesseract. We can do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Eight tesseracts. Eight silvers to go around. Two tesseracts. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. Two tesseracts. Um, hmm. Where do we want it to go? Don't really want it to be affected by a redstone signal. There? Are we thinking? Uh, configuration, item mode, fluid mode, fluid mode blocked, item mode blocked, energy mode, send only, sending energy and device inactive, let's give it a frequency of 34, set it to restricted, owner only, and we will call it power out we will save that set the frequency there you go so 34 is power out excellent so that is set to sending energy cool is there any other configuration we can put on this we'll just Ignore all redstone signals for now. Cool. Happy with that. Turn that off. Now, if we go to the... Ooh, TARDIS head. Nice. If we go to the other end of the doings, we'll need a, a conduit, won't we? A leadstone energy conduit. Like so. And these are probably about to run out. Yeah, they are about to run out. So we could do with... I don't know why I've got a lever on this. I, I, I felt it was important, so we'll just break them. 
So we're going to put uh, Leadstone Energy Conduit there and Tesseract there. And we are going to set this Tesseract to Restricted Power Out Set. And we want that to be... We want that blocked, don't we? There we go. Fluid, we want blocked. Receive energy only. Cool. So that should be receiving energy from our being thing at the other end. Uh, obviously everything's switched off at the other end because we're not chunk loaded there. But hopefully... Ooh, we're not going to be able to watch it work, are we? That could be a bit of a crisis. That could be a bit of a crisis. Can these gold pipes attach to conduit? I doubt it. I really doubt it. No, they can't. Um, is there any other option for, for doing this? Not really, say. Well, they're not about to explode, so that's fine. Let's just turn them off. There we go. Sorted. So hopefully when we come back here, that will boost the output. We can turn that on. And that should immediately start depleting power. Even though it's switched on, this thing will be sending all its power. It's doing something. Can we can we view what it's doing? No, we can't. We're just assuming it is doing. So one Tesseract serves its all purposes. This is good. That's just seriously not enough power. We're probably going to need to add more of these little engine and mobs to do. There's an awful lot of mobs around, aren't there? Don't know why. But I think we're doing okay. So, from Furry Ears World, where we've used some of our resonant ender to make these tesseracts, which are rocking pretty pretty much everything now for us. Uh, making the quarry whiz like a, you wouldn't believe, hopefully. Um, I mean, the output on this is... I mean, it's putting out 72. It's going to push up to 80. Uh, that's, good. that's pretty good. 80 is pretty good. I don't know how that converts to anything else, but I mean these these things don't don't dick about. We could always add a couple more of these and and get a bit more oomph going, but we shall see. So from Fairy is well for now. Ta-ta.